welcome on board Commodore P.R. Hari from Indian Navy as well. He's also the chairman and managing director now at Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Engineers Limited. Commodore, hi, good afternoon. Really appreciate you joining us on ET Now, finding time and talking to us about how the entire defense sector is poised at the moment. Um, given the entire uh, Philip that the industry is seeing at the moment in India, Commodore, do you expect that this run rate of 25% growth that you have delivered is likely to accelerate from here on? Should we expect growth rate of 25 to 30 percent for the next three to four years? Thank you, Anisha. Before I answer this question, let me start uh, on a positive note that uh, today Indian defense uh, manufacturing is at the cusp of a major transformation. And we at uh, GRSC, Garden Ridge Shipbuilders, being a premier warship building yard, are right at the epicenter of this uh, transformation process. Our order book currently stands at uh, around uh, 23,500 crores. And uh, this order book comprises of uh, seven projects, including two export projects, totally comprising of, uh, consisting of 24 platforms. Uh, with this kind of order book, our position is healthy, and this order book will last till 2027. But what is the future is looking bright, considering that both the government of India and the Indian Armed Forces are fully committed towards Ayurveda Bharata. And that gives us hope and confidence that the orders on the anvil will keep our order book filled in the coming years. Now, coming to the revenue growth, as you had rightly mentioned, we had registered uh, a substantial uh, revenue increase uh, from financial year uh, 2021 to 21-22. Uh, we are very confident of maintaining the same trend in FY23 also. And uh, the Q1 results have been very encouraging and uh, we are moving in the right direction. Commodore, um, okay, thank you so much for putting it in perspective of how the defense sector is placed. But since you pointed out that um, the order pipeline is looking quite strong, could you give us a bit more insight? What's the current order book? Uh, what's the pipeline looking like? Which verticals or which vessels are likely to uh, increase the order pipeline going forward? Okay, the current order book, as I had mentioned, uh, is around 23,500 crores, seven projects, five uh, domestic, two export total 24 platforms and uh, the major chunk of this order book is from the Indian Navy and we are constructing 15 warships for the Indian Navy that includes the prestigious uh, P-17 Alpha project uh, three ships of this project for approximately 19,000 odd crores and uh, eight uh, anti-submarine shallow water crafts and four survey vessel large and uh, we have also been declared uh, L2 in a bid for next generation OPVs and uh, things are moving in the right direction and we expect to conclude this contract during the current financial year. The order value will be around uh, 3,000 plus crores. Now what is on the anvil? Uh, we have Navy expected to give the RFP for uh, the next generation corvettes, eight of these vessels, sometime early 24, plus the Indian Coast Guard coming up with uh, 14 fast patrol vessels and uh, 18 follow-on fast patrol vessels. That is 32 vessels are coming from the Indian Coast Guard in the coming years. That is 2023 and uh, 24. In addition, there is a project uh, of the Indian Navy for a hospital ship, again on the anvil, plus two landing pl platform dock. It's a major project, which we expect the RFP to, to be out in uh, FY24. So, in a nutshell, uh, the orders that are likely to come in the next two years could be to the tune of uh, 60 to 70,000 crores. But of course, this will be, uh, we expect them to be on a competitive bidding basis with uh, all of us, uh, three, four different shipbuilding yards plus a Cochin shipyard and a couple of private players bidding for these orders. Right. Uh, sir, do you think the order pipeline has improved substantially aided by next-gen offshore petrol vessel tendering? Is that something, uh, you know, which has completely changed the outlook over the next few years? 
thank you, Pankaj. As far as the next gen uh, ocean going petrol vessel OPV is concerned, we have already been declared L2. And as per the tender conditions, uh, we'll be getting four of these ships, but the order value is uh, moderate. That is around uh, 3,000 crores only. The big ticket items are the next generation corvettes. Eight of them are coming. Uh, the DAC approval has already been accorded. The total order value is around uh, uh, 36,000 crores. Eight ships split between two shipyards. So whether we are L1 or L2, the, the quantum of orders, quarter book is going to be substantial. And here we stand at an advantage, having built and delivered uh, nine vessels, which are all of them are in active service with the Indian Navy, both uh, missile corvettes and anti-submarine corvettes. And we intend utilizing this, uh, this experience and the resident expertise to bid in such a manner to win this order. Definitely a Commodore that we'll keep watching out for and we expect to speak with you soon as and when that, um, you know, order inflow really develops. But apart from that, we understand that you're also looking at increasing your exposure when it comes to the ship repair income. Can you talk to us about where do you see the revenue contribution moving as far as that segment is concerned? Yes, uh, Anisha, and ship repairs is an area where uh, we have been uh, giving a thrust uh, over the last two to three years. And as a step towards uh, providing impetus to ship repairs, we have taken uh, three dry docks. And in any ship repair or shipbuilding industry, uh, dry docks are a major asset. And we have taken over three dry docks uh, from the Kolkata Port Trust and uh, set up a dedicated vertical for ship repairs. And the results are there to see. And we have almost had 100% occupancy of these docks during the last uh, 10 to 12 months we have been holding these docks. And we have also started bidding and winning orders, uh, both uh, for uh, Indian Coast Guard and on the commercial shipbuilding, uh, ship repair sec segment. I expect the, see, here the margins are very high. So I intend focusing on uh, this area. And uh, I expect to, I, I am very confident of increasing the revenue at least by 200 to 300% in this segment in the next three years. Um, looking at scaling the repairs business by two to three times over the next two to three years but you mentioned that this business comes at a higher margin could you talk to us about what's the differential uh, is the ship repair business coming at a margin range of 15 to 20 percent and would that help to take the consolidated revenue of the company towards the double digit mark going forward see our major business our my core business primary job is worship building over 95 percent of my revenue comes from warship building. In warship building, the margins hover around 7.5, around 7.5 plus percentage. In case of ship repairs, as you rightly said, the margins are uh, uh, 15 to 20 percent. So if you're comparing 95 percent of the volume coming from ship building and 5 to 7 percent coming from ship repairs, you can interpret that uh, the overall impact would be minimal. Okay, Another Commodore, interesting we... thing I would like to... Sure, go ahead, please. Uh, one of the interesting things now that I'm given an opportunity to speak is that uh, we got listed uh, on 30th of October 2018. And when we got listed, our market capitalization was uh, around 900 crores. And recently, this month, we have touched 5,000 crores, uh, registering a growth of around uh, 320%. So this reflects the confidence that the investors have on us. And with a very healthy order book, current order book, and what we are very confident of getting in the coming years and a very clear execution strategy. I am confident that uh, the growth trajectory will be maintained. Commodore, and your confidence is rubbing on to the stock price today as well. It's up around 5%. And as you pointed out, since listing, the stock has become um, 3x of where it listed. So really appreciate you joining us and discussing with us the overall strategy for the company going forward. Okay, on that note, we'll slip into a very short break.